doing gameplay breakdown and uh I am right now I'm showing the build that I've been running for my Sun Singer. So I did a video on it, uh, and some of the videos that we're gonna watch, I switched out my um, uh, sniper. So I'm using Ephrodite Spear, which goes back to my um, health regen build. So basically when you get a, a hit with the spear, switch to your red death, they're one shot. So you just uh, uh, tap that red death and then you get your health regen back. Uh, so we can go ahead and play this out. This is just going to show the build exactly. And again, this is on YouTube with, uh, uh, specifics like see focus burst, radiant skin, uh, flame shield, arcane spirit, uh, Viking funeral, and then divine order. And then up there is a touch of flame to round it out. All right, so gameplay wise, this very first video that we're going to take a look at is on Frontier. Fight for the spark. Take it into the rift. Again, using Red Death. This is Sunsinger. Whenever I'm running Red Death, I, oh, I'm sorry. Whenever I'm running Sunsinger, I don't typically uh, try to grab the spark at all. Uh, I feel like this is just not a class that grabs uh, the spark. Um. So let me let me go ahead and let's pause this. Let's go back a little bit. To the beginning of this. And we'll go we'll stop right here. So when you spawn on this side of the map, and we'll go a little bit further. I typically try to push as far ahead as I can. And I'll start shooting from this angle. So if I spawn on, on this side of the map then what you guys are going to see is I'll be able to shoot in this little opening that's over there on this bridge. Um, but I start off the first half of this really working this side and then decide to switch because the other team was getting too many grabs. Go ahead and play it. But you guys are going to see I'm going to end up on a streak here pretty early. I'm using time on target in this gameplay instead of red death, by the way. I ended up switching. So you guys can see this is the spot that's open right here. Um, and when you're on this side of Frontier, this is the spot that the team typically uh, sits up until they get to the point where they can collect the spark. Um, so you can get a lot of kills in there uh, or just a lot of damage in general. So if you're not, if you're like a, a defender Titan, eh, they can kind of run if they're running Catapult. If you are a, a Sunsinger, if you are a Golden Gun uh, gunslinger, then this is a good side of the map to sit on if you spawn on this side. So this gameplay is actually going to show both sides, but um, just generally speaking, if you work the side of the map, then you're going to be pretty good. Uh, so we're going to push up a little bit. Again, I'm just basically using that radar as much as possible. Got one kill, got taken out by that dude, Brian W. with Thorn. Our teammate ended up collecting on that. So I felt like it was like a net zero, right? Because uh, the rift is going to recharge. So I don't have to worry too much about getting back to that position. You guys can see I ran right back over here on the respawn. And I kind of have them now worried about that. You see that guy was facing me. And that's basically all I'm trying to do. I want I want these guys right here and these dudes that end up right in this spot. Well, that's a bad arrow. To be focused on me. I want everybody to turn on me so my my folks can uh, collect and uh, collect the spark and then make pretty good runs. So I feel like it's a it's a job well done if this dude can't see me on radar and he's focused on me at the beginning of uh, uh, my respawns or at the beginning of a map, right? You should be really focused about this, uh, Zeri. And, and some of the teams that are already playing that I've seen in Rift are definitely running very similar strategies right now. So, and I'm by myself right now. So you see that guy wasn't facing me. He got taken out. He's looking down. Instead of worrying about me, he got taken out. Again, this guy, Brian W, not super focused on me when he ran out. But he's the guy that killed me before, so... Right here, he just gets outplayed. I have no shield. He threw his uh, nade right there and uh, ended up 
dying. How far? Did I go too far? There it is. So he has me pretty hurt. I got a couple of shots. I waited. I was mostly looking at the radar here to see if he was going to move. And I poked out and he wasn't ready and I took him out. So here's another thing I want to mention that I often see people doing. So I get this kill. Look at my health. I can't tell you how many how many times, guys. And what's up, morning, everybody? I'm, I'm really focused on this, this gameplay breakdown. I see everybody in the chat. What's up? How you guys doing? This is all new. This is new. This might be Sundays for you guys in here. Uh, anyway, so my health is low right now. There's a guy in front of me that I did put I put no damage on. We can't really see him uh, right now. So there he is. It's this dude right there. All right. So a lot of times, what you see players do, they have no health and they'll sit there and try to challenge. Right. I didn't want to do that because I'm trying to stay alive. And again, I'm trying to hold this side of the map. So my first reaction, I got hit by him a little bit, is to go behind this rock, throw a nade, and hope the nade hits him. But I'm just going to sit here. I'm going to hope he pushes. Now what you guys can't see, which is we're probably going to have to move. I actually like can see it when it's full. All right, we're going to keep the camera in that spot. Usually I have it raised a little bit. Uh, this guy didn't push me. So I'm able to, to put in damage on those folks that are right here. You see, I got the assist on the first guy. And the second guy moved up just far enough where I couldn't get him. There's the second assist. He's dead. And that guy that was over here, that's that Titan right there. He ran away. He didn't focus on me, which I'm really surprised. I would have tried to take me out because I feel like my position right now is a lot better than his. So since I was hurt, he probably should have continued to push. But he didn't. And... You, you guys saw I got the assist and the damage on uh, his teammates. So, pretty bad move on his part. Runner active. Stop them. Enemy runner is down. I wasn't too worried about them running because I killed out. Well, they got two guys down and the third guy was behind. So, I figured my teammates could take him out. Now, some people may disagree, but I, can't, I just can't get there fast enough. So, we got somebody hitting me on my left. Let's. We got three guys over here. So one, he's looking at me. I think this is Brian W. with the thorn. Two, and then we're going to see that other Titan. There's the second guy. We're going to see that other Titan pop up here in a second. Two of them aren't focused on me. I end up killing Brian. And now we're going to get uh, this guy pushed me. So again, I was hurt. Um, and it, here's, here's something I can kind of say to you guys about when you're hurt like this again. Um, what people end up doing is so like they'll jump in order to, uh, try to fake out the opponent. But typically speaking, if you jump, it's going to keep you in the air longer. And if you're in a position like I am, I want you guys to watch, pay attention to this really closely. I didn't jump. I just fell off the edge. So I knew that my, the time that I would spend in the air versus, uh, uh hitting that point of horizon, I guess, for that player it was much shorter just falling off the ledge rather than jumping up. So I got the kill and I just fell off the ledge right here instead of jumping and then falling. Cause if I would have jumped, that guy probably could have got more shots on me and then would have probably killed me. So I jumped, my super is charged. This guy should have a kill, but he doesn't. Guys, see, I got the melee off. This is the first thing I did was melee to get the scorch up. This, that flame shield. And uh, made it difficult for him to kill me. So, outplayed. Spark has arrived. Enemy has the spark. Stop them. All right, they got the spark. This guy didn't move. He's just sitting on the bridge. I think he's waiting for his team, which he should be doing. <laughs> I got him full red, <clears throat> but his second guy. Um, I, I don't remember what that guy's name was, but that was the, the black and white Titan. There he is. You guys can see him right there. I have to take this kill. So I know my health is, is down, but I hurt this guy long enough to know the, the runner who's somewhere along this area. I don't know where he's at exactly, but he's somewhere along this area. I have to take this kill. So I have to go for him, and then I need to follow up on this guy that I hurt because I know he's not going to run because I hurt him so bad, and I have a little bit of time to make a play on this.
And that just that guy just got dominated. So again, I want you guys to pay attention to the health. This guy's still not full. So I was right at, at about the time he would would what well, well I would need to move and have uh, an opportunity to catch him. So I heard him again. He dropped his shields. I ran inside to cut him off. And he ran back outside because he had nowhere to go going this way. There's no there's no entrance or anything over there. So it's just a dead end. So he had to turn back around. And now he's gonna get wiped. Enemy runner stop. So that's a 2v1 taken out pretty easy. How long do you think you would take for me to catch Taken King if you're only a level 27 hunter? Well, my brother is a level 20 something right now. Uh, I don't know how fast the leveling is going to go. I want a 10th kill streak. Right now, I'm trying to stay as close as possible near the uh, the heavy, but I got taken out right there. I think I got hit by a nade as well. I don't know if it was from this guy or not. It's just this. I don't know where that. Yeah, it was from that. It, that they came down over here. My teammate was able to get the kill on him, and we still get this heavy. So, I'm not too upset about that play. Probably should have been paying attention to my radar a little bit longer after that. So I spawned on this side. So again, we were on the other side of the map. I, th I think I spend the majority of my time on this side of the map. Uh, this time and you guys can see the the spark is wide open on this side so if you're playing if you're spawning and your team spawn is on this side of the map inside the tunnel then you want to play where I'm at mostly and look in here because this is where you're going to get the majority of your kills again if you're not a, a, a spark runner this is where you want to play I tried to push in and fake out right there. We got a kill on the dude that had rockets, so they got one rocket out. And it appears that I'm by myself for right now, so I'm just trying to to get up close enough so that I can take them out and not give them a grab while I wait for my teammates. I do flip sides again. All right. They're gonna collect. Stop the enemy runner. I'm gonna run under the bridge in order to try to cut them off. Enemy runner approaching the rim. Enemy runner neutralized. We got the stop there. I had no idea where the runner was. Absolutely no idea. At that point, I'm just trying to take people out that are running uh, towards our base to give them less fire uh, power. Throw back out on this side. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Got some headshots. Pop my radiance. Enemy runner active. Stop them. I can't remember. I think I catch this guy. Got the burn on him. Got my teammate. Got the kill. So his mistake there was just simply running ahead of his teammates. Sometimes you just got it, especially if you have, if you get the the spark and you see none of your teammates around, sometimes it's better to just run into your base because the other team is not going to push you. They're not going to go into your base to, uh, to try to kill you. So you might as well just wait to regroup. Yes, I decided I wanted to play some sniper. Right now, I'm working both sides of the map. Your runner has the spot. All right, so we can talk about this a little bit. This is something I, as soon as I noticed it, I was like, I'm probably going to push up. We had a bubble go up right here. And as soon, almost as soon as I heard this bubble from this Titan, you guys see me start to push up this way. Because I have no line of sight on the guys that typically sit here. So I need to get uh, in a position to make forward progress with the Rift Runner. Arctic, do you have an equipment specs editing software list somewhere? I don't. Right now I'm using XSplit, which I typically use OBS. Ready. Take it. Your 
So pushing up. And again, you guys see, I, the first thing I do is check over here, which I thought I was going to be right. And by the time I saw these guys on radar, which you guys can see right here, this guy's on my left. So I don't actually know if I'm going to make the play here. Ah, I got out the way. I didn't attempt to shoot. So again, he got the first couple shots. You guys see my health. My first reaction is to basically play ring around the rosy. I don't want to engage on this guy. And it might be two here, depending on the this radar. I don't want to engage on this guy if he gets first shot. And I'm basically trying, unless I have a sniper, I might try to 180 snipe him. But it's just not a play I should make. So look at my positioning. I'm paying attention to where he's going to run. And I've kind of positioned myself. I spaced myself from this wall so I can make a play here. Or I can go this way. Just based off of where he's going to move on the radar. So I can keep myself alive. Gains the lead. And again, let's just look, look at the spacing here. Your runner is advancing. And my teammates are already here, so they got the cleanup there. Now, here's the mistake. I could probably see myself yelling at this dude right now. And turn, not not po politely yelling, guys. Politely yelling. So, look at our teammate. He is way up here. He has two guys here, and then I'm right here, right? Let's see what he does. All right, he dies. Now, instead of letting or paying attention, at least, to his surroundings and then waiting down this ramp for this, this, this guy and our other teammate to push ahead, and my reaction, as you guys can see, what I did here, I knew that he, he was ahead of us, so I tried to run this way to cut him off, to try to get around in front where I thought people would be aiming and looking at him. It's too late, though. So... Again, if you're a spark runner and you got some teammates around you, don't don't push in there, especially if you don't have blink. I don't think that guy had blink. Now we got spawns pushed. I got shot in the back, red death. We got spawns pushed, so uh applying a little bit of pressure. What's up, twisted metal? Heavy ammo Alright, spark, spark's available, heavy ammo is available. This happens, I'm assuming, at about six minutes. Frequently. This happens infrequently. I shouldn't say it happens around uh, six minutes, but it happens infrequently where you'll have the heavy spawn and the spark available. I would say go for the heavy. Um, I'm still not 100% sure on that all the time, but I would say go for the heavy. There is opportunities where... Both teams are waiting for heavy, like if there's 10 seconds left or something like that, or 15 seconds left, you'll have some dudes sitting on either side, right? And you might be able to make a play on the spark and then run for the base, but when you come back out, you're probably going to get tore up. So I wouldn't, I don't know. I, I think this probably sh should be more emphasis on heavy. So you guys see he grabbed, got the nade out on him. Now, I don't know if you guys know this yet. Uh... If you grab the spark, I think you get maybe, I think it might be seven seconds. You get a seven second, like uh, three times health armor or something like that uh, uh, buff. So um, you, you can't you can't really hurt these dudes. So instead of this doing like four, if I had, uh, let me see, if, if they activated, I think a Sunsinger, right? If you activate yours, you get 50% more armor. You guys can see instead of four, it's down to two. So, pretty sure that's right. You guys see it's seven now. He ran all the way back. Now, I tried to focus on killing the spark so it would reset. My teammate ended up grabbing that uh, heavy. I got killed by heavy. Now, I probably should have. If we look back at this, I probably should have. After that guy backed down, I shouldn't have chased. Just period. I shouldn't have chased that guy. So we get let's let's see so right here i'm floating this way the heavy's up right like what, what am i doing chasing this guy like he's gone i should be over here after i got that initial grenade i should have just let him burn because i can see the tick i can see where he's moving i should have just went back towards heavy and i probably wouldn't have died or i would have had a better chance of survival against 
cool Tim Man, whatever the hell that dude's name was. So I wasted too much time there. Don't want to play Dal UE. What do you think of it? I played some Gears. I had update 2.0 out, so I'm more interested in, in playing that right now. I've said this a lot before. Like, I franchise titles, I'm like, yeah, especially stuff I've already played before. Enemy runner ignited your rift. So look at this. Cool T Man. By himself. This is all this one play. Once one play literally probably made the difference in this. Me not making the decision to get that heavy results in cool T Man killing me twice with rockets and them scoring the rift in a game that is pretty damn close. If you guys look at the score here, this is pretty close. This is a pretty close game. So I don't know. I think that was a pretty big mistake on my part not to grab that heavy when I had the opportunity and being greedy and trying to go for the rift, dude. Runner ignited your rift. What's up, Andy? Only five minutes left. Spark charging. All right, we kill Brian. Just sitting there on the spark. What are we going to push? Get the nade off. You've taken the spark. I'm basically just running right now and died. Video decided it wanted to crap out right there. Anyway, on that play, I grabbed, ran for my life, and then just died to get a reset. So my teammates to come back around on the respawn. So I just kind of baited. Again, we're playing the outside on the left. We talked about that earlier. I finally got taken out there. Good old Elgato unsinking in the video. Can hear it. All right, so well, he wasted that super on me. I wasted my super on pushing that. Stop the enemy runner. All right, score's still pretty close. Can go in either way. Enemy runner, stop. Heavy ammo inbound. All right, so we got a wipe. Look how gung-ho I am on this heavy now. There's a snipe. Look how gung-ho I am on this heavy. I wasn't having it happen again. <laughs> heavy ammo available. Uh... All right, so there's a kill on Brian W. I'm using corrective measure for the heavy. Been using that. A lot. Ended up dying to Twiggy there. Twiggy on the revive. I don't know if I would have wasted that right there if I was Twiggy. I would have waited until our team grabbed and then burned that. There, there's, there, there's no reason for him to do that. That's that's one thing I, I will say I've seen a lot of people do is they, they kind of burn supers when they don't need to. Instead of timing it around pushes. Your runner. Moving in. All right, so let's see if he decides to stay behind me. I made sure I ran out in front. We got a blade dancer over here. This is a great push the with a score. The lead. All right, so yeah, let's look at that play one more time. This is a great push. We have one guy activate his super, that blade dancer, Vadu or whatever that guy's name is. Was very conscious about where he uh, he was gonna push, so I get the melee kill on him. Look how focused he is on that that spark runner. Your runner. It's two down. 
Jacob is the blade dancer in there. He's blade dancing, so they got three down. So that's seven seconds that we're gonna have. Jacob gets the last guy, or that's Bio. Maybe, the, maybe the, maybe we had two guys burn that, and this guy just follows in. I rip activates, and we're good. That was a great push. We were down fourteen thousand to seventeen thousand. And now we're up 19,000, 20,000. There's the win. That's the game. What's up, Invicta? Mark's when you thought school was during the week. Something new I want to try on Sundays. Gameplay breakdowns. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. This is fun. I, I like doing this stuff. And doing it live could be uh, a lot more fun than me making videos to uh, discuss it. I think this is much more interactive. All right, so we're on the next map. Uh, this is Frontier again. I believe this this gameplay is a Mercy um, on our team. And I think I have Red Death. We're gonna see Red Death, I think, for the majority of these games. Uh, so we got one more Frontier. This is from the other side of the map. And um, I'm gonna be focused on controlling that uh the side that i was talking about um I, I guess the second half of of this game so you guys can see respawn on the opposite side um and i should mention this right away so i played this map um probably like 10 times now and uh one game stuck out to me i ran out to this spot there was a dude sitting like right here and he took out a snipe and I didn't, I didn't even think about it being an angle, but I got sniped off of the beginning of the spawn from some dude that was sitting right there. And ever since then, I think that was like my third game. If I spawn on this side or I spawn on that side, I take my sniper out. So if you're going to go through the middle door, which is what I'm running through, be wary that you can snipe people right here. Okay. Don't let it happen to you. Don't let it happen to you, okay? <laughs> All right, so you guys see I, I snipe. Ambitious, <laughs> he let it happen to him. Ambitious, let it happen to him. Happy Sunday. And I have E for Deeds right now, which is, again, this goes into the build that I talked about earlier, my uh, tank tanky regen build. Uh, e for Deeds is the 181 on body. You switch to your red death. That's a one hit. Uh, basically just tap them with the red death you get your all, all your health back so it's a great combination to run and uh, ambitious is he just spent three seconds running out now he's on seven second cooldown right at the beginning of the game you're in the lead all right so we nade down that hall and uh, this is pretty much where I'm gonna play the entire game I'm not gonna spoil uh, the the dominance on this game but tore it up and I should say that uh, this is like a three parties of two on the other team. This is a ma the match before, which we're going to watch a little bit later. Uh, so ambitious, and this guy were flag running on Black Shield. So I was like, okay, these dudes are pretty good. And he's a blink runner. So these guys know that they need to go for me. So you're going to see Ambitious and NY Young attempt to kill me quite a bit. Lost the lead. Enemy End up getting the kill there. We're just trying to clear out the base at this point. Young ended up getting a pretty good uh, push on that one. So we wiped their team. I got snipped. And our team is pushing up. So, and we have some pretty good control here. All right, so what you guys are gonna notice on this side, I don't even really mess around with running over here when I spawn on this side because you have no line of sight. You have to run all the way up to uh, this opening side over here, which I do on occasion. I have some gameplays, I think with my Mita multi-tool where I ran over there. I'm really focused on getting on this side of the map, bad arrow, and uh, working folks over there. What's up, Expotent? 
Well, I ended up getting two nade kills right there. Now, if you if you have uh, any bolts, you have fire bolts, you have arc bolts, you have action bolts, and you want to get some kills or hurt some folks, do exactly what I did right there. You throw throw your nades down right in this little slit across on the other side. You do it both sides. Just like that. Get those kills. Get those hits. So you see NY Young. He's trying to collect a lot. And I'm just going to hold this spot. This is a great, great spot for this. You get the radar for people behind this wall. They can't shoot you. They can't shoot you unless they run on this side. Or the opposite side over here, which is an opening over there. So they either have to jump over, which is going to expose them. And they're not going to really be able to aim at you. So you can just aim at them and shoot them. Or they have to run on either of these slits. It's a great side to play on this side of the map. As opposed to this side, which I think is not as good. Um, you do have that rock, but this side also has the rock as well. So, uh, slightly imbalanced, if you will. I think this side is a little bit better if you're playing offensive. See, ambitious. Again, let me let's, let me let me emphasize how good this this side is. I'm basically head glitching. He comes around this this corner over here. I'm playing this hill. I'm focused on um, basically trying to strafe, but keep my head as as tucked away as I can behind this hill because this is a hard shot to hit. Aiming up like that. Got nick me. Didn't even break my shield there. And then I got my health back. We got that arrow. We gotta get off this. Your team So we got the ignite there. I'm gonna rewind this just a little bit. This this goes into that build I talked about. Your team ignited the rift. I got hit by a nade. I went in for the melee. You guys see my health. I'm gonna get oh, this guy's gonna die, but I'm gonna get that shield back. You guys can see that here. And this is what makes this build so ridiculous. So now I can stay in a fight. If I decide I'm going to kill someone during the time I have this shield, I also get my my regen going on. Charging the spark. I'm already back in my position to charge the spark. I didn't spend too much time. I should mention that. I didn't spend too much time sitting up here trying to spawn camp. I immediately reset myself and went back, uh, which I think... All too often, like if you're playing, if you have a really good team, you can spawn camp. Uh, but if you're by yourself, I think you need to get back into the positions that are going to make you the most successful. So by me sitting up here and spawn camping them or getting off a few kills, but having to face three or four people every time, that's not as good as me sitting a little bit further back. So my teammates can kind of help. I'm by the spark so that that causes less uh, focus on me, more focus on the objective. And uh, since I'm playing this side, I don't have to necessarily worry about uh, fighting multiple people at once because, again, I talked about the positioning over here. It's just a great area for me to get away. Ambitious down again. He knew to look over at me. Here's NY Young down again. He knew to look at me. Again, they're really focused on me. And I want to point out, and again, this happens on both sides, by them being focused on me, I want you guys to just look at look at the fire that's coming through here that they can't see just because they're focused on me, right? I'm in their head right now. So you guys can see the crossfire, right? Look at look at all that crossfire. So that's when you know you're in folks head when you got them looking at you and they need <laughs> that that's not the area they want to. So oh oh look look we had a guy hop over. Can I can I reiterate how good this this position is, guys? Can I reiterate how good this position is? He has no shot. Look at this. He has no shot. He put in no shot. Bam bam. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it, man. No shot right now. He has to float in the air. There's nothing. He dies. Great position. like you. All right. So I'm trying to lead the charge here. Got another kill. There's a double down. 
There's four down. Get the burn. I'm trying to help out my, my boy over here. Heavy ammo on the way. He's gonna get the push. I'm gonna get the assist. Enemy and we scored. Ignited. So that was a good push. I activated my super. Uh, let me go back and talk about this play a little bit. This is what I mentioned before. Save those supers for the pushes. Save those supers for the pushes. As soon as I knew I was the front, activated that, got the insta kill. Nading out and pushing. Got the burn. Heavy ammo on the way. It's done. Enemy Save those supers for the pushes. Heavy ammo available. Spark charging. All right, we're just cleaning up house right now. The spark is available. Your runner has the spark. Your runner is advancing. I'm not sure why I decided to sit back a little bit right there. I think I was maybe waiting. My runner, runner was all the way up there. I could have probably straight. pushed. We're on a 15 kill streak. So I heard a golden gun active, activate. My teammate went down. I do have a heavy and I probably could have pushed a little bit, but I decided I was gonna play back and just see if the guy came towards me and he didn't at all. I've seen enough. I'm calling we get the mercy rule. The spark. You obliterated them. I love it. If you like this video, you should probably click on the one down below. That'll take you to another video. You may like it. A little bit about me. I'm a former pro player. I play PC and console, mostly shooters. I also have a gaming podcast. I do tips and tactics, live gameplays. Check out my Twitch. Also, I work in the industry. Why are you not subscribed?